If there is one truth in modern life, it is that adding LEDs to something always makes it better. Isn't that true? LED lights are freaking awesome. And there have been various attempts to add LED lights to quadcopters, but none have been as freaking cool as the product that we're looking at right now and the product we're gonna look at today. And that is the GemFan Moonlight Props. These are LED light up props. And as you're gonna see, GemFan has solved one of the big challenges with getting props to light up. So we're gonna take a look at how GemFan has done what they've done, how it all goes together, and uh, yeah, I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're gonna learn something today. This project is near and dear to my heart because I was involved in a Rotoriot episode where we tried to make LED light up props. And what we did is probably what you would do if you were trying to do this. We took little tiny, tiny LEDs and we glued them to the prop itself. And then we tried to find a way uh, to put a battery somehow up here on the hub so that it could power the LEDs. And it was a disaster. Gluing the LEDs on, just a just a, so much work. And to their credit, they stayed on, but then getting the battery, th these things are spinning at like 30,000 RPM. If the battery was even slightly off balance, it all just went bonkers. It was a mess. And that's one of the reasons I'm so impressed with what GemFan has done. They have come up with a much, much more clever way of doing this. So what GemFan has done is, I'm gonna show you how it goes together, but they have put the LED here in the hub facing outward and they have put a, a um, I don't know what you want to call it. It's not printed. It, I, I think they have like embedded inside the plastic or something, these little markers that then scatter the light from the LED and cause the prop to light up. And you may notice, well, there's only one LED and only one prop lights up. Yeah, it's spinning at 30,000 RPM. It'll be fine. But this is a really, really elegant solution. It means that the props themselves are the same prop pretty much that you would be using any other time. There is a little bit of material removed from the hub to make room for the battery and the LED to slide down in. But so, so presumably the hub may be just a little bit less durable than if it had all the plastic there. But overall, this is a really clever solution. So let's see how it all goes together. So this right here is a tiny flexible PCB. It's got the LED on it here, and it's got an on-off button here. There was a V1 of these props that didn't have an on-off button, and basically you just ran them until the battery died. GemFan added an on-off button, so that's pretty nice. And that LED is going to slide down into this recess facing out, and then fold down. And there are some uh, alignment tabs right here that this will fit down over to help keep it into place. Next, we need some batteries, and GemFan does not ship these with batteries because that would it'll make the shipping more complicated. Um, the batteries are, here are the batteries you need. I just bought this 10-pack off of Amazon. Now, this battery has a positive and a negative side. This is the negative side here, and the flat side here is the positive. And when you install these in the hub, the positive side faces in towards the shaft, the negative side faces out towards the end tip of the prop. The props come with these little copper sheets here, and one of them has a little V-shaped cutout, and one does not. You're going to take the one with the little V-shaped cutout, and you're going to kind of push that tab inward so it protrudes a little bit, and that's going to make sure it makes good contact with the battery. We're then going to put the positive terminal of the battery against that little tab, and the flat one right there and we got to install this inside the prop i'm not actually sure what's going to be the best way to do this u-shaped tab against the hub positive goes in oh here we go this is going to be the way to do it and then the one without the tab goes on the outside and what i don't know how well the camera is going to pick this up but these tiny little tabs here we're making contact with this trace to allow the current to flow. We're going to do that same thing on the other side. Okay, let's see if we can do it more efficiently. Bend the tab. Put this one on the inside. Oh yeah, it seats down in there real good. That's, that's clearly the best way to do it. Take the battery, put the positive terminal of the battery facing the hub, and press it in. And then take one of the flat 
sheets without the little U-shaped tab and put it on the outside. And push it down. Oh yeah, that's that's much easier. Now at this point, uh, you may think that it would turn on and work, but I think it has to be all squished together to actually work. So I'm going to put this on a quadcopter, and they come with these little plastic tabs, which again, these have the same three alignment holes, so those are going to line up with the pins uh, on the on the hub. I'm just going to do a visual confirmation that the pins are lined up. They don't, yeah, they don't really stick in there that hard, but if you were to crank down the nut without the pins lined up, of course, you'd have a problem. And then... Oh, it turned on. There you go. And I guess to turn it off, I see, it's the pressure, I see. The pressure of the nut turns the, turns the button on. I hadn't quite figured that out yet until this very moment. And when we take the nut off, I see we gotta lift this up. And it'll, there we go. That way you don't kill your uh, battery. Anyway, those are the Gemfan Moonlight Props V2. And if you're looking to get LED on your quadcopter, this is, this might be the coolest way to do it. Um, yeah, you can put LEDs on other parts of the quad, but there's nothing like a great big circular prop disc lit up through the air. <laughs> really nothing matches it. So, links in the video description if you want to pick these up. Thanks to Gemfan for coming up with this really cool way of making this happen. And I gotta say, thanks to Rotor Riot and specifically Chad Capper. <sighs> The whole time we were making that Rotorite episode, and it was a lot of work and an enormous pain in the butt to get those to work, I kept saying, is this even that cool? Is this going to be a good episode? Like, and I have to say, and he kept, Chad Capri kept saying, yes, this is awesome. This is going to be great. And um, I have to say that he was right. I still don't know if it was worth all the trouble we went to, but now that Gem fans made it easy, yes, this was really freaking cool, Chad. You, you, you. All right, well, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Chad Kappa was right about something. Happy flying. What are you doing in here? The least you could do is subscribe or... Join my Patreon or like just here's another video I picked out for you. Jeez.